We are halfway through the week. Let's check in with Burlington's Mayor, Marianne Mead Ward, to see uh, what's going on. Uh, good morning. Thank, uh, good to see you via Skype, and thanks for getting up early. I know you've got a long day today. Well, my day starts about an hour and a half ago, so yeah. <laughs> this is mid-morning already. <laughs> I know. Well, good to see you. But yeah, tonight you've got a telephone uh, COVID-19 town hall going again at 6 o'clock. We o do. Yes, and there's details. If uh, Some people will have received a, an automated call letting them know how to participate. Uh, that will go out again just before it starts. But if people uh, didn't get that, they can go on the city website at burlington.ca, and there's details about how you can call in. So. Yeah, it in, it will be good. I'm sure we'll have a uh, lot of questions around the I second bet. wave and everything else. Yeah, I mean, in advance of this. So what are you hearing uh, from businesses and, and residents, the big concerns related to COVID? Well, we're, you know, obviously people are concerned by what they see happening all around us. But the good news is that actually Burlington's active cases went down this week. We were at 13 last week <clears throat> and we're at about 11 now. So uh, we're still the lowest per capita infection rate in all of the greater Golden Horseshoe. And that's thanks to our residents doing their part following the health measures. Yeah, and you'd like to keep it that way. Of No doubt you've heard Absolutely. about the news in Hamilton with that meet up in Ancaster. And it uh, blew up big time and way beyond no uh, the new rules. So are you concerned? A lot of municipalities <laughs> are now saying it's time to get uh, harsh with the penalties. Do you have the same view? We will be issuing t tickets if we need to. Uh, since this started, we have had close to a thousand calls for service. We've handed out four tickets so far. Our approach always is to educate, let people know what the rules are, ask them to comply, and most people have done the vast majority once they've uh, been contacted. But the education phase, as you say, as we say, is over. So if there is persistent bad behavior, we will start to issue tickets. Okay. The calls uh, for service, though, have just like gone off the charts since, uh, you know, since fall started and, and people have started to see that increase across Ontario. Yeah, uh, as uh, here we are in uh, September, uh, the shortfall, uh, the staff report, what is it, a three million dollar shortfall? Can you break down the numbers for us and, and how you're going to make that up? For sure. So when you when you look at uh, increased costs to COVID, uh, extra staffing, smaller, um, you know, uh, people being a, smaller, fewer people being able to come into our recreation services. So our revenue is down, our expenses are up. The total, the total cost of that is $18 million. Through uh, staff cost cutting and efficiency measures, they've been able to reduce that by about $9 million. Uh, looking at the um, the announcement that we got from the federal and provincial governments, uh, just over six million dollars, the the net left on the table is roughly three million dollars. Uh, some of that we do have reserves dedicated for the purpose uh, of the shortfall. So, for example, when we gave away free parking downtown, we have a reserve to uh, to cover that. So, uh, so we think we'll be okay, but it's still early right mm -hmm. in in uh in the year so we're monitoring that very closely but we're going to continue to offer services to our community that so they no expect. service cuts zero absolutely not even going to entertain service cuts we're we're increasing our services to our community and it's costing us more uh, obviously to take the appropriate measures to keep people safe okay let's talk cannabis there's an application for a 15th store uh there which is, is. A, yes there is a, <laughs> but uh, this is actually in violation of uh your bylaws because uh, there's another one closed so the application is for walker's line but there's another one within what 500 meters on mm -hmm. uh, upper middle road so this is clustering that's a no-no right it is yes and we actually don't have the ability to approve these stores that is left with the alcohol and gaming commission of ontario but what city council did do when we said, sure, we, we will accept this legal business uh, that many of our residents use, clearly, uh, given the number that are coming, uh, we will accept that within our borders. But we have some guidelines that, that we would like the uh, AGCO to consider before approving and signing off. And our guidelines, as you say, do include that we don't want clustering of a bunch of stores together. So of the 15 that have been applied for, only two did not conform to our guidelines. So we submit those comments to the AGCO AGCO before the commenting deadline and uh, hope that they will take that into consideration before they approve another one. Okay, well we look forward to um, hearing about the town hall tonight and uh, the uh, feedback uh, you get re regarding uh, COVID. And thanks for these weekly updates and uh, spending part of your busy day with Morning Live. Burlington Mayor Marianne Mead Ward. Great to be here, thank you.